from pa- Prom Talk to Track and Field, we we've got, got the, the scoop. scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Centurions. Today is April 20th, 2016. Today is also the day peer core will be happening. Remember that if you wanted to be part of this experience, then you were supposed to sign up with Mr. Overson and remember that it is after school in the library. Another reminder is that key, there is a key club meeting today. Please notify, that the, no, notify the members, proof of service hours, awards, and regulations regulation will be distributed to all members who must attend. And not to stress our classmates anymore than there already are, but AP testing is just right around the corner and that it is time to look for your ID cards because they are to be presented during testing. Also, the, service, the science club wants to announce that the UCI tutors are back. Looking for something to do on Saturday morning? Want some place away from your family? Where you can where you can work on assignments uninterrupted, need attendance credit, want to talk college one-on-one -on -one with college students? If you answered yes to any of these, then the WIM program is for you. So bring assignments to this work to this work Saturday <laughs> to the WIM program, especially science and math. They and they will also have a meeting tomorrow. So go over to the the, the Science Club will be having a meeting to go over activities. Another important announcement is that we are having a couple of our dear centurions going to the Olympics. And here is one of our future Olympians and a mentor, and here is the one and only Jelly. Hi centurions, I'm here with Miss Medrano and Kent. So where exactly are the Olympics going to be held? At Valley High School. And what events are going, is it going to consist of? The 25 meter run, the 50 meter run, and the softball toss. And what's your favorite event? So tossing. And is there anything you want to say to your classmates? Good luck and and think their best. And is there anything you want to say to your students? Just have a blast and enjoy yourself. Bring your hats and water. All right, thank you, and thank you for making Century proud. You guys, um, and continue on Let's Go News, prom is right around the corner. Whether you believe it or not, the official date is May 28th. And the prices for this week and next week will be $65 with an ASB card and $70 without one. So make sure to buy one every, before the prices go up. And it's getting that time to ask a special one, special someone, both girls and boys. But if there's no special someone, you can still go. Duh. All right. But before prom, there will be another dance on April 29th. So basically next week, and this dance is viewed before summer 16. Prices are to be announced. This dance will be a small dance just to honor Drake's new album and the spring sports. And now I believe that's all we have on school news, but now for Anna's favorite kind of news. Yeah. Our boys tennis took on the Falcons yesterday and the final score was very close, seven to 11. Despite the loss, the member, one of the doubles team made up of Santiago Fernandez and her own Mondragon, continued to maintain momentum in the league with a sweep yesterday against Valley and last week against Anaheim. Good job, boys. And today our baseball team goes against Anaheim home. They are still undefeated, but now we have a few injuries in the team. Getting injured is not fun, but later you think about it, and it was, so, and you get over it, and that, and that's dedication and love for the sport. <laughs> Track and Field also had a meet today. Has a meet today against Magnolia here to tell us a little bit more about it. The one and only, the woman that wears the blue and red suit, our very own Centurion Spidey. Jelly. Jelly. Hi guys, I'm back and thank you guys. But good morning, Centurions. I'm here with 
Sofia Gomez and Sergio Rodriguez, and these are two track and field members. But going straight to the questions, um, you guys have a meet today against Magnolia. So is there anyone in particular that you guys are counting on? Um, we're counting on Nat and Julie because they have been working really hard to get to where they are now. And now you guys have both had success in meets, but what do you, why do you think that is? Uh, we work uh, really hard and we always put our best out on, on the field. All right, thank you. Well, good luck to you guys. We wish you guys the best of luck today against Magnolia, I believe, Anaheim. Congratulations to the boys volleyball team for securing a spot in CAF. Keep up the good work, boys. They will be having a game at Savannah tomorrow, so make sure to wish them luck so they can keep up the victory. But like I, I just said, said. <laughs> they had their game yesterday, and we've got the scoop for you guys. Like, oh, come on, guys, pick it up. But then like, they, in the end, they picked it up, and they're 6-0. and Yeah, what she said. It was very intense. <laughs> but 6-0, and hopefully making history. Yeah, they gave it their all. You can tell. Like, you can see it in their eyes. Like, they wanted it. And I'm just glad that we're all here to see it. That's like, Carrie Ball. That's like Carrie Ball. That's right. <laughs> I'm here with Marcos and Levon. So tell me, Marcos, how do you feel about the win? Well, obviously, you feel great because you took the win, and it's a great uh, going into league since we're two headed, two games ahead. We are six, six and zero, obviously. Yeah. Levon, is there anything you could have done better? Um. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was a hard game. Um, overall, but thank God we just came over and came with the win and putting us on top in two games and just completing six and zero because it's a great feeling. Thank you. That was a very intense match. I heard that they were down in the beginning, but they ended up with a win, and it was a five-match game, so that was good. Girls softball um, played Tavana yesterday in the century despite the loss to the Rebels. According to head coach Marcy Lee, the girls played some of the best defense he's seen from them. Outfield, outfielder Heidi Carlos threw out a Rebel runner at the third from center field. Amherst Alarcón dominated the outfield. Stealing a home run with a catch over the back fence. Great effort, ladies. Tomorrow they play at Magnolia, so that will be an interesting game. And now that the broadcast is coming to an end, but some important news just came in. Starting next week will be the guest anchors Friday when the staff comes on the inside scoop to anchor. All the slots are full, but we look forward to this. Well, Centurions, it's time for us to go now, but before we do, Odalis, the quote of the week. A true conservationist is a person who knows that the world is not given by his fathers, but borrowed from his children by John Adams Alpeton. <laughs> well, that's all we have for you guys. Now remember guys, don't, don't be, be scared. scared. Bye. Bye.